White Texas police officer found guilty of murder for fatally shooting black teen in car. A former police officer was found guilty of murder on Tuesday for shooting uh, into a car carrying black teenagers, killing one 15-year-old boy. A former Texas police officer was found guilty of murder on Tuesday for shooting into a car carrying a group of teenagers, killing a 15-year-old boy. Roy Oliver, who is white, was found guilty in the death of high school freshman Jordan Edwards, who was black. Here's the really sad part of that sentence. Who was black? He got killed. The teen was in the passenger seat of a car leaving a house party when the officer opened fire in April 2017. So what was Jordan Edwards guilty of? I guess he was guilty of going to a party as a black person. Oliver was found not guilty on two aggravated assault charges. Jordan's father, Odell Edwards, said after that he wanted to jump up and down when he heard the verdict and was thankful. I'm happy, very happy. It's been a long time, a hard year, he said. Edwards' family attorney, Daryl Washington, said Jordan's father never wanted another family to go through what he went through losing his son. This case is not about Jordan. It's about Tamir Rice. It's about Walter Scott. It's about Anton Sterling. It's about every African-American who has been killed and has not gotten justice, he said, referring to other black boys and men that have been killed by police. We are happy that here in Dallas, Texas, that Roy Oliver is going to have to do his time for taking Jordan's life, he added. What he did on that night should have never happened, and we're just happy that we've gotten justice today. The verdict came Tuesday afternoon on the second day of deliberations. The jury was made up of 10 women, five white, three Hispanic, and two black, and two white men. Roughly 10, 20 minutes before a verdict was announced, jurors said a note asking what happens if they were split on justification of the shooting. The trial moved into its sentencing phase late Tuesday and jurors recessed for the day. Oliver faces up to life in prison. I really hope he gets it. I'll be surprised if he does. I hope he, he deserves to serve a life sentence. He shot into a car of teenagers. All right, so here's why this guy, because I'm curious, why did this guy fire into a car? He said he fired on the car after seeing it move towards his partner, Officer Tyler Gross, and thinking the officer's life was in danger. But Gross previously testified he did not fear for his life and didn't feel the need to fire his weapon. So the other officer was like, no, they, they were just driving. Officers has been dispatched to the house party in Balt Springs on a call of underage drinking late April 29th, 2017. Oliver testified that while he was at home, he heard gunshots outside and believed there was a shooter. As he went outside, he saw the car carrying the five unarmed teenagers. The gunshots turned out to have been fired near a nursing home in the area. We were just kids leaving the party. Well, he was at the home, excuse me. Oliver testified that while he was at the home, he heard gunshots outside and believed there was a shooter. As he went outside, he saw the car carrying the five unarmed teenagers. How can you not? Oliver was hired in 2011. In 2013, he was suspended and required to take anger management classes after having erupted in a courtroom. So this guy doesn't know how to conduct himself in a courtroom. He hears gunshots that happened elsewhere in the community. And he freaks out and fires at a car full of unarmed teenagers. And even his partner says, yeah, there, there was no reason for this. I'm glad he got a sentence. I guess what you really need, I mean, going by this, it sounds like what you need to have any chance at actual justice is you need to have another police officer that's not on the, uh, the police officer's side. It sounds like that's what you need. If another officer says, yeah, this was unnecessary, then you have a chance at actual justice. That's kind of the theme I take away from this. And I hope he gets life in prison, this guy. I hope he spends the rest of his life in jail. I wouldn't be shocked if they let him out early. He deserves to spend the rest of his life in jail. But at least there's a little bit of solace that this family is seeing a little bit of justice. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on?